Don and I are on the Celebrity Equinox and we found out some surprising news. Hello everybody, Joyce here with the Traveling Gamblers and I am here with John and Nellie. Hi John. Hello Joyce. John and I are on the Celebrity Equinox and we found out some surprising news pertaining to the blue chip club program mm -hmm. and the way they're doing things. If you are a gambler and you participate with the blue chip program, you know that there's been some changes, but we have more to tell you. And before we get into that, we are on the celebrity equinox. And today is uh, September 10th and we are on a sixth night a Caribbean cruise yes and we are in a sky suite again this is our last sky suite on the equinox for quite some time mm -hmm. we actually don't have any additional cruises booked on the equinox except September 24th and we will be in an aqua cabin mm -hmm. and after that we don't have anything booked because the equinox is leaving the South Florida Caribbean area for a little bit mm -hmm. and uh, eventually next year it will end up in Port Canaveral yes. after it does Europe and South America right I'm and not sure where it's going yeah. um, it's going to do some dry dock and it's going to eventually end up in Port Canaveral which is the very first celebrity cruise to go out of Port Canaveral mm -hmm. so that'll be cool so I'm sure we'll be back on this the Equinox again besides the September 24th, but this is our last one that's on the books in a sky suite. So we're gonna really try to make the most of it and enjoy the benefits. Right. And the next time we're back on here, we'll discuss our next cruise, which is gonna be really exciting. Yes. Okay. So the news, I read some things on Facebook yesterday and the day before about Blue Chip Club and some of the changes that they're making pertaining to future cruises. So for those of you that don't know, if you are a Blue Chip Club member and you have played in the casino and you've gone on a next cruise after your play, if your play was, I wanna say significant enough, I'm not quite sure what that number represents, but if you played a decent amount, you could go to Future Cruise and they would have a list that was sent to them from Blue Chip Club prior to the cruise and they would tell them what you were entitled to as far as a discount or complimentary cruise based on your last cruise and the play from that cruise. They started this a year ago, April, and they were giving away as many cruises as we wanted at that point. Yes, because they were having trouble filling the ships. Yeah. And we get it. We definitely get it. They were trying to get as many passengers on the ships after COVID. And it was a big push to give complimentary cruises because then those players would come on and hopefully play money in the casino. And it was at least bodies on the ship producing some type of revenue. And for anybody that participated in any of these things, we all did very well with it. Well, that has now ended. A future cruise is no longer booking casino deals for the Blue Chip Club. I went down to Future Cruise as soon as we got mm -hmm. on board because I read a couple things on Facebook yesterday and I wanted to verify as you guys know, John and I pride ourselves in delivering the facts to you. And the facts are that effective immediately, mm -hmm. there are no more complimentary cruises being booked by Future Cruise on behalf of the Blue Chip Club. Mm -hmm. I spoke with the manager of Future Cruise and he said that we will be getting a letter in our cabin in a couple days and he's still getting information, more details, but this is what he was able to tell me so far. If you would like to book a future cruise, you can go down, sit with them, book a cruise, 
a hundred dollar refundable deposit per guest it would have nothing to do with the casino in any way shape or form it would just be a booking that you're doing and you would play in the casino at the end of your cruise the last day they would be delivering a certificate to your cabin which would tell you based on your play for that cruise what you earned and when you go home you call blue chip club and they would apply that certificate to the booking that you made on board you have 30 days to call blue chip and choose a ship and sale date i don't know the parameters for how far out you can go and I asked what's the benefit to booking the cruise on board and not choosing a ship and sail date and, and then calling blue chip versus just calling blue chip when you get home. And that's when he alluded to, well, you could be getting some of the benefits from booking on board that anybody would get by booking on board. So the synopsis is no more complimentary or discounted cruises booked through Future Cruise on board via the Blue Chip Club. It's over. We knew this day was gonna come. Mm -hmm. And Blue Chip Club has significantly changed. They, it looks like. Looks like they're going the way of uh, Casino Royale. They did merge and I think there'll be some good things coming out of it. So I spoke with a couple representatives from Blue Chip Club over the weekend and I spoke with one gentleman specifically yesterday for about two and a half hours. He is a representative who worked for Casino Royale because the Royal Caribbean program, and he now works for the Blue Chip program, still a Royal Caribbean international employee. And he said that there's going to be two things, primarily, the offers are going to come via those postcards or emails where they give you several choices of ship and sale date and then what type of cabin you are entitled to or, or have earned. Those are going to be the primary complimentary cruises moving forward via the Blue Chip Club. In addition to those, there will be the what you earned from your last cruise. And he said, but the numbers have significantly, or the parameters have significantly changed. I'm gonna give you an example. John and I play almost exactly the same every single cruise that we go on. When things were at their best, John and I would each get an aqua cabin mm -hmm. for two guests each. And Sometimes our play was enough to combine them to get a complimentary sky suite. That has shifted to a veranda for one of us each. And it has shifted again to us calling Blue Chip last week based on our play from our last cruise, mm -hmm. which was August the 27th, a six night on the Equinox and combined John and I earned a mm -hmm. concierge on a four night cruise on the reflection next summer. We looked at a six night cruise on the beyond in a veranda and it was going to be a thousand dollars out of pocket. So we went from two aquas to one combined concierge on a four night cruise. We are not complaining, mm -hmm. but it is an adjustment and it's no secret. We are the traveling gamblers. Mm -hmm. John and I are both Ruby, which means we have spent a significant amount of money in the casino. And so this does come as a little bit of a blow, but we realize that we we're on the gravy train and it has come to an end. We still have quite a few cruises booked that are complimentary. 
So we were lucky that we have that and we'll see what happens moving forward. Also to get those offers, those postcards, make sure you go into the uh, celebrity uh, website and check the, um, what was it, advertising? No, uh, was... you have to go into your, sign into your account on celebrity.com. And when you go into your account, up on the top right-hand side, there's a little wheel and you would tap on that, that's your settings. And in the settings is preferences. And you need to make sure that you have the marketing box ticked to receive um, marketing from giving them permission to send you mailing and emails. Also, I, I wasn't getting any of the mail offers or any of the email offers, mm -hmm. only John has been. And we're still working on that because I'm still not getting them. But when I spoke with them yesterday, he looked into my account and he said, oh, you're not set up to receive mail offers. So he changed that for me. So there's a lot of things. Yeah. There's a lot of things. And, and there are a lot of changes coming. We don't, we don't believe this is it. And like I said, the ride is over. Mm -hmm. We will have more details for you later in the week after the future cruise manager gives them to us. But we wanted to bring this to you now so that you could know what we know when we know it. Uh, I know it's not good news, so sorry about that. But at least you know the facts. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate mm -hmm. your support. And as always, we hope you have a wonderful day.